and gentlemen, I think you will all agree that nothing says festive like yard bags under the tree. <laughs> now, this is the time of year we all think back to that first Christmas when the three wise men, Jasper, Balthazar, and Herb, <laughs> went to see the baby Jesus, and uh, according to the book of Matthew, presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now, these are simple words, but if we analyze them carefully, we discover an important yet often overlooked theological fact. There is no mention of wrapping paper. <laughs> now, if there had been wrapping paper, Matthew would have said so. And lo, the gifts were within 600 cubits of paper. <laughs> And the paper was festooned with pictures of Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> and Joseph was going to throw it away, but Mary said it unto him, she said, Hold a bit! <laughs> that is nice paper. <laughs> Saving it for next year. <laughs> and Joseph did roll it in his eyeball. <laughs> And the baby Jesus was more interested in the paper than, say, for example, the frankincense. <laughs> now, I do not need to tell you that these words are not in the Bible, which tells us that the very first Christmas gifts were not wrapped. Now, that's because the faithful Jimmy Jukes had two very important characteristics. Number one, they were wise. Number two, they were men. <laughs> now you see, men are not big gift wrappers. Men don't understand the point of putting paper on a gift just so someone else can tear it off. This is not just my opinion. This is a scientific fact based on a statistical survey of two guys I know. <laughs> friend Rob. Now, Rob only wraps a gift if it's, quote, such a bad gift that I don't want to be there when the person goes. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is my friend Gene Weingarten. Now, Gene does wrap his gifts, but as a matter of principle, never takes more than 15 seconds per gift. <laughs> I also wrap my gifts, but, uh, Due to some defect in my motor skills, <laughs> I can never completely wrap a gift. I mean, I can take a gift the size of a pack of cigarettes, put it in the exact center of a piece of paper the size of a regulation volleyball court, <laughs> and by the time I'm done folding and taping, a part of that gift is still peeking out. <laughs> Sometimes I just cover that part up with a marking pen. <laughs> oh, but seriously, folks, if I was an ancient Egyptian in the field of mummies, the lower half of the pharaoh's body would be covered in nothing but scotch tape. <laughs> My wife, on the other hand, you give her a 12-inch square of paper, she can wrap a C-130 cargo plane. <laughs> My wife, like many women, actually likes wrapping things. I, I mean, if she gives you a gift that requires batteries, she'll actually wrap the batteries separately, which to me is very close to being a symptom of mental illness. <laughs> but hell, if it were up to my wife, she'd wrap each individual bolt. <laughs> the point is, gift wrapping is one of them skills, like having fables, that just comes more naturally to women than to men. <laughs> That's why today I'm here to present to you gift wrap tips for men, the ABC. <laughs> a, a already wrapped <laughs> Gentlemen, whenever possible, buy already wrapped gifts. If when the 
said it opens a gift neither of you recognizes it. <laughs> well, you can always just claim it's myrrh. <laughs> B. Don't be smoking crack. <laughs> Time of year is that you save the receipt. <laughs> 